Hi, welcome to a brief tutorial on understanding module. I am Angel Enoken and I'm a student in an interactive programming course called uh, Introduction to Interactive Programming in Python. It's taught through Coursera through uh, Rice University by Joe Warren, Scott Rixner, John Greener, Stephen Wong, and team. Um, I built this this tutorial to help my fellow classmates. If you're like me, kind of had a little difficulty wrapping your head around the concept of Modulo. So what I did is I went onto Wikipedia and I grabbed the definition and put together what I think is a cute, fun tutorial. And hopefully at the end, you'll feel confident and clear, just um, like I do. So Wikipedia says that Modulo is an operation that finds the remainder of division by one number by another. And so in Python, it looks like a and this this percent sign means modulo n. So some some positive integer a divided by and finding the remainder by n. Um, and so what we did with this, what I did with this is I threw together some examples in uh, Cold Sculptor. Cold Sculptor is a free online tool, and you can find the uh, the example code for this this exercise by clicking this link tinyurl.com pi mod toot and um, I have it open in another browser and essentially it takes all the examples in this this demo and you can run it and and see the results here well um, we're gonna take a theme around apple farming and pretend your uh, your name is Joe and you work for this really mean apple farmer and this apple farmer has it such that you only get paid if you bring back the specific number of apples that can fit in your net. And so what we did is just say, okay, again, um, say I have some number A, um, and that represents apples, and then I have some number N, which re represents the size of my net, to net these apples. I will get paid if I bring back exactly two apples, no less, no more. And so what I can do is essentially use the concept of module to understand how many apples would be left over at the end of the day after I've finished my collecting. Okay, so say I go in first first time and I see, okay, my net can fit two apples. Then I scoop up these two apples. And I scoop up these two apples. I scoop up these two apples. And they go in my net and then I take it back to the farmer and he pays me and I scoop up these two apples and they go in my net and he pays me and then I come back and look there is only one apple left and oh no I can't collect it because I have to bring back two he's super mean so five apples and so if we just write out this equation uh, if we go five apples modulo n size of the net that will equal a remainder of one apple. Okay? Okay, so that example was pretty clear. Let's actually go on to another example, example B. And again, all these examples you can run and see in Python. This is really the purpose of this, is just to get your head to wrap around that concept of uh, finding the remainder. So again, I have some equation here where now I have five apples. Joe's getting smart. He's like, ha ha, I can come back with three apples. And so he grabs three. He takes him to the farmer, he gets paid, he comes back, he, oh shoot, he can't pick up the last two. So if we write this equation out, it's going to be five apples modulo three, that's the size of the net, will equal how many apples remaining? Two apples. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. So now we go on example C. Joe's getting a little clever here. He wants to get paid, and I think you guys can see this example out really quickly what's going to happen here. He scoops up three. He scoops up another three. He comes back and he scoops up these three, and then he's left with that one. And so, again, we've got now 10 apples, modulo, size of three, and then my remainder is one. Well, what happens if there are exactly nine apples? Nine apples, again, it, it would look like he can scoop up three in his net. He can divide that again. And wow. So when you have a number that perfectly divides, what is the result of the statement? Yeah, nine module three equals zero. Okay, so that's when you get a zero as an example. 
Let's take it a step further. What if Joe comes to work and he's got a net size of zero and he and there there's apples to be harvested? Well, here we have three apples. We've got modular and then we've got a net size of zero. What would that equal? Well, how many apples can he collect? He can collect none. So would the answer be zero? Well, no. Actually, if Joe came to work without a net, he wouldn't work. <laughs> and so um, this example, if you put it into Python, would throw an error. And so we'll just call this undefined. This scenario would not occur in reality. Um, and it would throw a division by zero error. And you can see that in Python. Um, if we scroll over to example, we throw example E, and you put in a zero for N, um, what you will get is this answer. And you can just go into the code and remove that comment. And then you'll see what happened. And yeah, line 44, division by zero error. Don't want to do that. OK. So um, one final example, and then we'll cut out for today. Whoa, here we go. Joe has got a plan. He is going to bring the biggest net he can find, and that net can hold 10 apples, I'm for sure. Well, um, well, he came on a particular day where the farmer only had two apples for harvesting. And so when you have a divisor that's bigger than the number it's going into, what will you have as a result? How many apples can he pick up? Well, yeah, sure, two can fit in, but he only gets paid if he gets all 10. So how many apples will be left over? Yeah, it's going to be two. So two apples are going to be left over. And so that kind of looks weird when you first think about it. When you look at in this example, um, when you try to divide a number that's bigger, you're going to have the remainder of that number. And so all this is summarized on the last slide here, that um, in answers are repeated here. Um, if n equals 0, the equation will turn undefined in Python, and um, the result will always be a whole integer. And that uh, if your n is greater than your a, the result is a. Happy programming, guys!